And a collywobble's attack again ends the magpie's dreams of another flag. Sandy, yet another dark day for magpie support. Actually, I noticed you were looking very depressed tonight, Pete, but uh, you're certainly not on your own. Although the magpies went into this afternoon's elimination final as a warm favourite against Melbourne, the demons again demonstrated their tremendous ability when their backs are against the wall. The magpies led at the first two changes, but a brilliant nine-goal third term by John Northey's men gave the demons a big advantage. Collingwood got to within two goals of Melbourne in the last quarter before the demons kicked away again. Although kicking against the breeze in the first quarter, Collingwood made a great start with early goals from Kelly and then Dacos. Tony Campbell was Melbourne's only forward and when Stasevich goaled on the siren, the Magpies held a seven-point lead at the first change. But Melbourne looked a different side in the second quarter and when Wilson goaled on the run, they led by four points. Late in the term, Collingwood brought Cloak onto the ground with immediate success. After snapping truly on his left foot, he got it down to Stasevich, who kicked his third. And at half-time, Collingwood led by nine points. In the third quarter, the lights were turned on at the park, and so was Melbourne. Despite the rain, Earl Spaulding was a key figure up forward. Spaulding, a high kick on the left foot. Oh, some shepherding is it a goal! Collingwood, however, was in a spin. And when skipper Greg Healy combined with Yates to goal, Melbourne had stretched their lead to 17 points. And it was Brian Wilson who made the margin 23 points going into the last quarter. The Rusalaka started to close the gap in the final quarter, but the closest the Magpies could get was 12 points. Darren Bennett finished well, kicking three goals in 10 minutes as Melbourne stormed into the first semi-final with a 23-point win.